Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The newly formed Telecommunications and Postal Services Department is, in the months ahead, expected to make strides in three key areas, including the rollout of digital terrestrial television. Natasha Wendell tells us more. What can we expect to see happen in the DTT space in the near future? Right, well, the new minister has actually promised to deliver the Broadcasting Digital Migration Policy by the end of July, um, which is only two weeks away. And it seems to be the first indication since the elections that we're actually going to gain any form of traction in the rollout of our digital migration ambitions. I mean, South Africa's already had so many false starts, if you will, since it tabled its plans in 2006. But the Prime Minister has also now promised, well not promised, but he's actually indicated that he will not let the people down and try and meet the deadline of June 2015 for the switch-off date, which seems a bit ambitious at the moment. Um, we still haven't actually got the digital switch on date, um, but the Minister has indicated that within three months uh, he will cement a date where we can switch the digital analog signal on and start dual elimination. Now, the new policy, um, he said, will not actually impact the standards for the set-top boxes we need for the migration. So the manufacturers uh, have indicated, well, he has indicated that the manufacturers can go ahead and start producing um, in the run-up to our migration. Another key area of focus is lowering the cost to communicate. How will this be achieved? Well, the minister has said that he's keen on engaging industry, all stakeholders, mobile operators, anyone involved in the ICT sector, um, to come to a well, meet with them and come to a solution on how we can get the costs to come down. I mean, South Africa has some of the highest costs in the world, and it is stifling investment. It's it's stifling the smaller players, if you want to call it, and it's hard on the consumers. He wants to meet with the players to try and get some sort of alignment on what government's mandates are and what companies' profits needs are. Right, the minister has also promised to um, direct ICASA to embark on a, st a transparency study in September where they would actually look at the transparency of the prices. It would insist that companies actually become more transparent, that the consumers will be able to easily see how much they're paying and for what they're paying. So the department also wants to have ICASA embark on a national roaming study um, to see the cost implications for smaller players and new entrants into the market. A broadband value market study has already been conducted by ICASA and the department, um, which enables ICASA to develop regulations for broadband pricing in the industry. Lastly, what are the plans around the implementation of broadband infrastructure and services? Well, the Department of Com Telecommunications and Postal Services indicated um, very strongly that they want to implement the SA Connect plan. That's South Africa's broadband, well, national broadband plan that we've been waiting for for a while. Um, it'll lock, unlock economic growth for South Africa if government can just get it going. Within that plan, um, government has indicated that they're actually going to move forward a lot more with fixed broadband um, to try and roll out more infrastructure with already with their 170,000 kilometers under telecom at the moment. Um, trying to indicate to the industry that we shouldn't rely too much on mobile broadband and that we should rather go for a happy medium between the two. So, I mean, the SA Connect policy will actually enable government to coordinate the infrastructure that is needed um, to ensure that we actually have sufficient broadband in the country. And during the budget speech, he mentioned that to embark on the first phase of the broadband plan, all the, all the initial stages, 20 million has actually been allocated in this financial year to start connecting police stations and some government buildings and schools um, as part of their plan to get broadband to all by 2020. Thank you. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.